Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how to make a poster like this on PowerPoint. The first thing you do is open a blank PowerPoint presentation, click on design and choose an appropriate slide size. Then you go to Google and type Toastmasters branding guidelines and choose the first PDF that you find. Go to the second page and you will find a beautiful color palette. Right click and format the background and click more colors to choose the appropriate colors from the color palette as seen in the color palette. In this case, you can find that for yellow, it is 242, 223 and 116. You can find that beautiful yellow background. Go to insert, click shapes and choose a circle now. Again, change the color of the circle to the format found in the palette. We'll choose blue. Here the blue color is 0, 65 and 101. Let's control C and control V to create two circles. Choose the second circle to insert a file. For this, go to insert, click on shape fill and select a picture from a file. Select the picture you want and you will find the picture in the circle. But what we want to do now is remove the background. For this, go to Format tab and click Remove Background. I may not be the biggest fan of this feature in PowerPoint because it can be a little confusing. It's not so streamlined. So what we can do here is go to Remove.bg and try to remove the background from here because the process is really smooth as you can see. Now you have an image that is ready to be imported into that circle again. Follow the same process but this time select the image with the background that is removed. There you go. Now all we need to do is align it. Bring both the images together. The blue circle is in front. Right click and send it to the back. Adjust it a little so that it looks like it is coming out of the circle. That's right and now you have your picture ready. All we need to do now is insert text, a heading and a congratulatory note. But make sure that you're following the branding guidelines. Go to the PDF again and scroll to page number 12 where you can find the fonts that are allowed. I prefer using the font Gotham in my posters. Make sure that you're also changing the color of your font to the colors that are available in the branding guidelines. I'm going to select the same color blue again. You can group the picture and the circle by pressing Ctrl G. We are trying to insert the logo. Make sure that you leave enough space for the logo because that is also a violation of the branding guidelines. Make sure that there is enough space around the logo. And voila, you have your poster ready.